Hi, um, welcome back to the channel guys. A totally different type of video this one. As you can see behind me, I've got the RX-7 up on the ramp uh, in the new workshop, which I'll do a separate video on. Uh, I really wanted to have a bit of maintenance on it, I thought I'd give it a bit of a look over and um, found out that one of the rear calipers was sticking a bit, so I hopped it up there, took some bits and pieces off and thought, ah, in for a penny, in for a pound, I've taken all the wheels off because I want to get them uh, refurbed because they're showing their age a bit, so it's, it's uh, 19 .99. Um and I've taken off all the brake discs, I think the rears have just done some measurements, um, I'm going to need to... Um, get new ones because they're down to basically the minimums. Uh, the fronts have still got plenty of meat, um, so I'm gonna get them skimmed, I think. They're also really expensive, so I'm not gonna replace them unless I need to. Uh, calipers are all off because they're gonna go and have a total refurb um, and then rebuilt with, with new gear, because I had to do that to the rear one anyway, which was um, sticking, so why not? Just put some, uh, put some love into the car. So what I'll do is I'll flip the camera around and I'll just quickly show you um, the bits and pieces. Right, so on the workbench, you can see both front calipers, um, they've both been stripped of everything they can come off easily. Nipples are out, all the fluid's been drained out, and the two rears are there, not completely stripped. I left the handbrake brackets on at the moment, the nipples are out and bled. That is the colour of what came out of the calipers and they were drained, and that's the colour of what was just dripping out of the um, brake pipes. So yeah, they certainly had some muck inside them, and I'm sure there's a lot more that's going to come out of the big ones um, once they get stripped down a bit further. I will be getting, like I said earlier, um, a full rebuild kit, so I get new seals, new bits and pieces, everything, new rings. So yeah, we should have um, shiny new, well as new uh, calipers once they've been away, blasted, painted, lacquered. So, got the Cobra sitting there. Right, so you see these two drip trays I've used, these are all the brake parts from either side, so right hand side of the car left hand side of the car. So some of that stuff will be getting cleaned up, painted, obviously pads will be replaced. Um, the carriers will go with the um, calipers and get repainted, blasted and painted. So there's the discs. So obviously I'm not gonna do a measurement right now, but the fronts, cause this is an RS, the fronts are 32 mil thick and the rears, which are those two in the middle there, are 22. Usable or minimums is 30 and 20. And on here I've got 31. And then these are basically at about 20 now. So yeah, I'm not gonna risk having those skimmed to spend the money on it to then only you know fail at an MOT. But the fronts are fine. So I'm just gonna um, take those over to a machine shop, see if they can, um, and then get them skimmed up. Worst case scenario is I have to buy new ones or have to send them somewhere. So. Well, um, well, I'm an R, but I really don't want to spend hundreds of pounds on new uh, discs if I don't have to. So, car. Look at that. Um, yeah, so just pretty, pretty stripped out in there. Uh, I will be doing all the cleaning up of the bits and pieces that I can. I really would like to take off this um, dust guard, but I think you've got to take the whole hub off of that. So we'll be cleaning up everything, knocking all the rust off, probably give it a bit of a spray up and then mask everything off. Just generally give as much love as we can underneath here. Um, you see the front, there we go, so the Bilston's on a bit of a clean, but they were all refurbed when I got the car back uh, 10 years ago, all back off the Bilston, regassed and redone. The reason I wanted the wheels off is because if you look inside, there is corrosion, I mean the amount of weight on that one when it was balanced, so I think I'm going to have them all um, rebalanced, probably this afternoon, just to check that there's no issues with them, because before I have them all stripped and painted and pay all the money for it, I'd rather see if the wheels are all good. So yeah, there's quite a bit of corrosion in there. So I mean, it'll really make it look nice when it comes back with fresh red calipers. All right, so next thing I was gonna do now is strip the calipers down completely because the service I'm gonna use for um, the refurb is effectively they're just a painting service. So I've got to strip it down to its components. They'll um, blast it, dip it, and clear it all off and paint it. Then I'll rebuild it with um, a new set of, well, a new rebuild kit, which I'll get. Um, there are services, I'm sure most of you are aware, that you just send the calipers off to like this and uh, they'll just do a full full strip down, clean, um, re-coating and then rebuild with all, all the new bits. But for these, these four, I think I was looking at about £450 for that. So it's a lot, especially when you're adding up to getting all the wheels done, potentially, well at least two new brake discs, potentially four. Um, so yeah, I will. Um, I think I'm going to do this myself. Obviously, the painting will be professionally done. But I'll, I'll, before I make a hundred percent like decision on that, I'm going to see what's available in the way of the rebuild kits and how much they are, and if they cover everything I need. Because I, mean, I can rebuild these, no problem. But if I'm going to be paying two hundred quid for a paint job, 
and then another hundred odd quid for rebuild kits. And it's, I might as well just send it off. So I'm sure in a minute, by the time you're watching this, I would have made a decision um, and I'll let you know. Right, so this is an update. This is the end of the first day. <clears throat> so you've just seen me this morning um, talking about what I was planning to do. Um, so I've taken the wheels to the place to get uh, refurbed. So they're done and dusted. That'll be two, three weeks because they're really busy. Um, I have uh, been to the machine shop with the front discs. Um, unfortunately, his lathe is not big enough for them to do because they're 314 mil um, diameter disc for this. Um, he can't do front and back at the same time. So uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's nowhere else in the island that um, that can do it. There's a possibility to be able to do it on the car at a garage. But um, I'm not too keen about that, and that means I can't do it until everything's back and back on. I have to put the old discs back on, so um, I'm going to go buy the bullet and buy um, new front discs um, as well as the new rear discs. So I actually spoke to um, a couple of different places earlier, and I think I'm going to go with Essex Rotary. Um, I spoke to those guys, and they're actually really quite helpful. Um, so that's new pads, new discs from them, um, and I have I've decided that I'm going to send the um, calipers to Big Red because I got some prices for the kits for doing the repairs myself that with the price of um, getting the calipers painted made it about £50 difference over the all four um, from getting someone else to do it so <laughs> seeing as Big Red are professionals they do it all day um, it'll be a, probably a much better finish um, so yeah they're literally here um, you'll see them they're ready to um, go into a box and then I'll send that off to them tomorrow so that's pretty much it moment just kind of takes all the work away from me so wheels getting done brakes will be on the way in the post calipers will be getting done somewhere else so yeah i've just um i've just been going around if i turn the camera around there we go so i've turned the camera around so all the bits and pieces i've took off that i'm going to reuse uh, a palsy apart from the pads that are just here i've been on the uh, bench grinder with the wire wheel on and just cleaned up all the crappy rust off of them um what I'll do is I'll degrease them, give them a spray, and then cover them with a, I don't know, I'll prime them up and put some black or something on them so they're um, nice and protected. And then actually, I haven't even started yet, but I will do some kind of um, cleaning on this. It's, um, yeah, we'll see what I can what I can do. Right, so I've just done some work on the um, other side of the car, but I'm just going to give you a quick example of this is the condition of the wheel arches. Uh, when I started, you see the liners are in there. That's all, it's all pretty sort of skanky really in there. Uh, dirt, road, mud, yeah. So what I will show you now is the rear arch. Okay, and this is the rear arch. The condition of all the bits and pieces. This is literally just as it came off the street after I took uh, the discs off and the pads um, and the calipers. And now I will show you what I've done to the other side. This is the right rear that's had a nice brush and a clean out, get all the mud out of it, and it's had a nice degrease and a, and a harsh brush to get all the crap out from underneath. You can see sort of the um, black bed liner anti-stone chip stuff is not great. Um, there's a bit marks, so I'm going to hit it again with some degreaser, see how much of that will actually come off, because up underneath the arch, it's almost white still. Um, given the uh, dust shield for the brakes, quite a bit of a clean up, took all the loose rust off it. I've cleaned up as much of the uh, gear behind as I can, taking off any corrosion and just use an emery pad really for some of the aluminium bits and pieces. So yeah, not, not too bad on that one. It was a messy job. Um, and I'll show you the front one. Here's the front right arch. I took the liner out so I could get in behind and give it a clean. And after some water spray and some degreaser, you can see there they're just two bottles. Um, I've got out pretty much all of the muck and it's actually come up <laughs> really nice uh, as far down as there and you can see then that turns into what the underneath the car is like so um there's a few all these flex uh road tar um from the street so may go again with some degreaser see if i can get it off but to be honest i'm pretty damn happy with how that is once the liner's back in i was contemplating um giving it like a rust protection stone chip spray because um, I thought originally that it was black and just faded, um, worn out, but it actually it's never had it. Um, well, it has, but it's been painted white, so I'm not going to spray it black. So yeah, I think once the new, um, once these are coated and the new discs, the new caliper, well, the caliper's refurbed and the wheels refurbed to back on, I think it's got to look smart under here. But yeah, there was a lot of um, 
a lot of grease and muck and stones and mud and just general shite. So yeah, pretty happy with that. Right, so this is the rear driver, so the rear right. Uh, you see this is actually covered with like an anti-gravel black paint. Underneath here, I think it's overspray from in the past when there's been some repairs done on it, which um, has happened probably before it's come back into the UK. Because I've had it since it came here. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll mask off everything under here and give this another coat. Um, I've got some of this um, you know, anti-gravel um, paint. So the surface of it's fine, so I'm, I'm not worried about locking in any rust or any um, any moisture. Um, so yeah, this is a, a nice old clean. So pretty happy with that. I got the old exhaust polished up a bit down there. Um, yeah, down beside the exhaust in the back, I think you can't really see, but up in these corners, especially the other side, was absolutely horrific for gravel. I probably had about half a kilo of gravel on each side, really tucked up in the back of the bumper. So if you're having a look at your car, really <laughs> dig that bit out with a hoover and a screwdriver and get it because it, it was moist gravel as well where it's been holding the moisture okay so this is rear left and you'll see this piece of plastic in the back of the well which actually i couldn't get that nut off down here so i didn't want to break the little bit of strap at the back there so i've left left it so i've obviously cleaned up behind here um fuel filler and the vent so it was the back down there just behind this angled piece up in that corner absolutely full of gravel i'm talking loads of it absolutely loads of it so yeah it's nice to get in there because obviously that's going to stop the gravel just sitting there holding moisture and rusting out which is um yeah <laughs> not ideal so there we go so this again this wheel arch um has a bit of overspray i think i'm pretty sure it's overspray i'm not sure entirely but um yeah so i think i'm going to mask this up and um, recoat it take off all the little rubber um Rubber fittings that are in there. Give it a nice respray with the um, anti-gravel stuff once it's all dried out because now it's been washed thoroughly and brushed and degreased and brushed and then rinsed and dried. So obviously I'll leave it to dry for another probably a couple of days. Um, yeah, mask it all up, tape it, and then yeah, give it a nice spray so it looks nice and fresh. I'll put this just back up in place roughly at the moment, um, and then we'll go down to the front left which has still got the liner out of it. The liner's down on the floor there, which I'm gonna give it a clean. So yeah, this has obviously come up nice as well. I'm really quite happy with it. <laughs> well, I'm surprised and more than happy. Right, so I've taped up all the way round uh, underneath the wheel arch, just, just the rear right, everything. I don't wanna get some black on, and I'm gonna give it um, a going over with the anti-gravel, it's in black. So I did a sample earlier and it dried up nice and uh, yeah, just to give it a nice uniform coating again, get rid of the overspray that's, that's on it here anyway, it's all been degreased apart from my fingertips there, but so yeah, I'm going to give it a nice um, nice coat. So hopefully um, it comes up okay. I've taken out any of the rubber fittings, which hadn't been sprayed before. That one hasn't, but it's really in there, so um, I don't see why it shouldn't be sprayed because the one next to it's been done in the last coat. So yeah, let's see how this comes out. There you go, so I've just given that um, first coat in there. I think oh, I might get away with one, we'll see how it dries up or it feels. So it looks looks nice, it's certainly a nice um, like rich black coating, which for most of it is no real difference, but you know, the bit that's underneath that had, sorry, the lights are really bright there, that had all the overspray in there, and it's good. So yeah, we'll just let this dry up and so it looks, it's going to look nice with the uh, new discs, wheels and calipers.